Hi, I'm National Tournament Director Tim Just, the 8020 TD. A little bit of effort is going to give you a big bang for your buck. One way you can do that is to upload the files you've created with WinTD or with SwissSys to the United States Chess Federation site so that you can submit your tournament online. Let's start. We go to Clubs and Tourneys. And we slide on down and we select TD Affiliate Support Area. Sign in. Don't forget your password. Keep it in a safe spot. Once you've signed in, what you need to do to upload your files that you created is scroll down to tournament rating reports. Click on it. You're going to be asked several questions on the next screen. If you're not sure what you're doing, I would suggest reading the how-to guide and the frequently asked questions first. However, this video may give you just enough information so that you can always upload your videos, excuse me, upload your files, without any problem. Every tournament has to have an ID. They don't mean a number. What they want you to do is give this tournament a name. I'm going to call this tournament Practice. I'm going to scroll down further and I'm going to upload the three files that were created with either WinTD or with SwissSys. I'm going to browse my hard drive to try to find those files. I know where I put them. I wrote that down on a little sheet of paper or I memorized it. What I'm going to do is find the folder in my documents, chess, and I created a folder for this presentation called practice. You'll notice there are some files listed here. The three we care about are TD Export, TH Export, and TS Export. Let's double click on TD Export as it's the first file that we need. You'll notice some information was filled in the blank box. Let's do the same thing for TH and TS Export. Browse, double click on TH Export, browse double click on TS export. There's some other information that you're going to have to enter. For instance, the beginning date of the tournament. Sometimes you'll fill this in when you create the files, but it's always a good idea to fill it in again. It just makes everything work a lot more smoothly when you fill the information in more than once. The beginning date was 1-5-09. The ending date was one, whoop, a typo, one slash six slash oh nine. Let's scroll down some more. We have to know who the chief TD is. Yours truly, the 8020 TD Tim Just. Don't forget the time control. This was a long tournament, game 120. And let's choose a rating system dual, regular, or quick. If you're not sure which rating system it is, choose regular if it's a really long tournament. Choose quick if it's less than game 30. If it's between game 30 and game 60, choose dual. You'll get a chance to change this later on. There'll be an explanation on another screen that you'll see later on. Let's upload the tournament. We have all the information we need. If we scroll down further, there's a lot more information that we can use, but we don't need any of that right now. All we need is to click the button that says Upload the Tournament Data. When you click the button, you'll get a white screen, so you can have a sip of coffee or a little pop. And the larger the tournament, the longer this step will take. You'll be given a lot of information here that you generally don't need. What you do need to do is you need to return to the Upload, Enter, Edit, Rating Report area, so just click on there. 
Now you're back on the screen where you originally entered your tournament. USCF has also sent you an email at an address you provided when you signed up as a tournament director telling you if there were any errors in the report. It's already checked the report. However, that's kind of bothersome. It's a lot easier to scroll down, find the tournament that you want to submit. I only have one tournament on my list, but if you have more than one, you can click here and find the correct one and choose it. You'll notice that the submit tournament is grayed out. That means this particular tournament probably had some problems. If you care what those problems are and you don't want to check your email, click on the validation report. And this is the exact email that was sent to you at your email address. You'll notice as you scroll down there's all sorts of good information. You'll notice that there is an error for one player. And it says that player is not a current USCF member. If you scroll down you'll see other errors possibly. However, it looks like there are no more errors, just some concerns. Often there's a possible bad ID. Often if you have written down Bob Jones and they have Robert Jones in their record, they'll mention that the names don't match. However, you really don't need to do that. All you really need to do after, it's, after you've submitted the tournament is to edit the tournament to make sure everything has been entered properly, including non-members. We're going to look how to complete that task on the next video. Thanks for watching part one. We'll see you when part two comes up.